So again, in order to be able to write out the electron configurations or orbital diagrams, you need to know that order. And again, to me, the best way of thinking about it is this. I kind of set it up in order, okay? First, what are the blocks? Okay? S, P, D, F. Great. What do they start counting at? Do they start counting at? So notice the S starts at the 1S and then 2S, etc. The P starts 2P. The D is 3D and the F is 4F. So those are the kind of what the order is. All right. And then of course you just go across after that. I guess you just go across after that. But you can just count 1 through 112 if you want in order to figure out the order. So if I want to think of doing a low energy to high energy and in terms of putting my orbital diagram, because orbital diagram a little different than electron configuration, I would go 1s. And all I'm going to do is look at the periodic table and go across 1s, 2s, 2p, 3s, 3p, 4s. A little overlap because after number 18 comes number 19, which is the 4s. Then it goes to the 3d. Then the 4p. Then 5s. After the 5s, I'm running out of room a little bit. After 5s, we go 4d. After 4d, 5p. After 5p, 6s. Now after 6s, which is 55 and 56, you go down to 57, which is the 4f. Yeah, there's a little bit of overlap. I go 4d, 5p, 6s, 4f. But again, all you're doing is counting. So down to 57 takes care of the 4f, then back up to 71, which is gonna be 3, 4, 5, D. And you see how I counted. I was like, geez, I'm not sure. Let me start. 3D, 4D, 5D. After the 5D is the 6P. Then we go to the 7S. Then down to the 5F. Then up to the 6D. That's pretty much what we have. That's the maximum number from lowest energy to highest energy. I also would remind you, if you're doing orbital diagrams, all the S's, it does not matter which S it is, there is only one dash. All the P's, three dashes, three orbitals for every P. Okay. And D's, five, two, three, four, five. F's, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So all I could continue, but basically the D's have five. The D's have five, the F's have seven, the D's have five. All right, and then of course you could fill in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, etc., etc., etc. That's orbital diagrams. Electron configurations, you're reading across and it's one S2. 2s2, 2p6, 3s1. That right there is what I have for that one. Okay? Some people like another little way of remembering it, a little trick. Uh, I'm indifferent. I just like thinking about where the blocks. I think you know it a little bit better than some kind of fancy trick. But some people like this order as well. If you put the complete amount of orbitals, and notice I basically started 1s, 2s, 3s, up to 7s, the 2p through 6, the 3d through 6, and then the 4 and 5f. If you put that all in order, and notice I put the 1s, the 2s together, the 3s, the 4s, exactly, you know. If you set up this little kind of Christmas tree, little arrow looking thing, if you start from the bottom and go off at a diagonal, so 1s first, then 2s, 2p 3s, 3p 4s, 3d 4p 5s, 
4D5P6S, 4F5D6P7S, 5F6D, that's the order as well. Some people like that as well. And the last thing I want to do is just do a longer one, like a practice problem type thing. Okay, so let's say I wanted to know the electron configuration of something. Let me choose tungsten. Tungsten is number 74, so it's got a long ways to go. It's in the middle of the D block. 1s2, that fills in the first two. 2s2, takes care of 3 and 4. 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, and all I'm doing is going across 3p6, all six of them. 4s2 is going to be next. Then 3d10, taking care of that whole row. 4p6, takes care of 31 through 36. Then 5s2, 4d10, takes care of the middle D. Then 5p6, takes care of those. Then I go to 6s2, takes care of 55, 56. I can then go down to 57, which is 4f14, takes care of all those. Now I come back up, 5d, and I got to count across. Don't forget that there is one in 71 spot. 1, 2, 3, 4, 4. And that would be the electron configuration for tungsten. I want you to notice that it is a lot easier. If I just look at the end, 5d4, I can say to myself, self. S, P, D, F. Okay, 5F4. Well, uh, 5D4. D. Starts at 3, 4, 5. So I know it's in this row. 1, 2, 3, 4. There, it would have to be this one, and that would be tungsten. Okay. Um, so reading from the electron configuration and figuring out what it is is a little bit easier than doing it all out. But in essence, it's, it's, um, that's what we are. Lastly, I want to mention if you want to practice, and, and not practice, but uh, check your work. If you add up all the exponents, okay, since they're the number of electrons, and since we're talking about an atom, if you add up all the electrons, they're going to add up to 74. Great way of checking your work.